So, uh, first question I'll ask you is, um, you know, why is it so important to have all uh, winter tires, cold weather tires? There is such thing as an all season. There's actually two different types of tires. There's an all season tire, and there's a cold weather or snow tire. There's a magic number in the world. It's 45 degrees for the temperature for snow tires or cold weather tires. The reason why people need to install snow tires or cold weather tires is because once that temperature drops at 45 or below, the rubber becomes harder and harder. The purpose of a cold weather tire is to stay pliable, stay soft. So when you get to that zero degrees or that 20 degrees and everything is frozen or hard, including the all season tire, the cold weather tire is actually stays nice and pliable. So when you're trying to grip in the wet, the snow, it stays nice and soft. Where, especially like a lot of these newer cars, including you, they run performance uh, tires on them. We call it like a cold blooded animal, okay? The colder it gets, the harder it gets. The cold weather tire stays nice and soft and pliable. So you can actually still grip the roads. Uh, what uh, is the difference between you know tires people have you know summer fall spring and then the cold weather tires that you put on for the winter? When we sell a cold weather snow tire, the biggest difference we say there's three differences: compound, compound, compound. Yeah, it's not tread design does play a role. It definitely does. Sure. But it all has to do with the compound, and that is the difference between the two. And that's why you can't run these snow tires or cold weather tires in the summertime because they have that soft compound. Right. They'll just disintegrate. Yeah. What wears a tire down is friction. Mm -hmm. If the compound is nice and soft, think of it as like a NASCAR tire. Think of it as a performance, like a Corvette tire. The softer they are, the quicker they're going to wear out. So again, you cannot run those at a 90 degree temperature. They're not designed to do that. They're most comfortable when it's zero degrees, 20 degrees. So that's the biggest difference. There is a designation now in the um, the world. About 10 years ago, everything said M&S, mud and snow, including a snow tire. So they said, how do you tell the difference between a snow tire and an all-season tire? And what they did is they put a little mountain flake snow symbol on there to designate that as a severe duty or as that cold weather tire. So that's how you tell the difference if it has that little mountain flake snow symbol on it versus M&S. M&S is just mud and snow. Do you think that uh, by using the cold weather tires, you know, there are less accidents on the road? Do you think it's, you think it's, a, you see the difference? There's a huge difference because when you're dealing with those snow tires or cold weather tires, the stopping distance can be upwards of 50% difference. So when you do the math, if all of a sudden someone's pulling out in front of you, where your all season or performance tire can take up to 100 feet to stop, you could be down about 40 feet. So as far as preventing accidents, absolutely. And when we look at it, people go, geez, the, the investment's so huge, it, it's, it's $500. Well, there's a couple of ways to look at that. An average deductible on a car, $500. But how much time is invested? Is there an accident, is there an injury? Okay, so an average snow tire or cold weather tire lasts about four years as the typical, the normal driver, including yourself, would probably be about four years. So if you break that down over the four years, you're talking $125. So $125 every year to make sure you're safe. Yeah, it's an investment up front, but as far as safety, there really is nothing better to do it. And there's a reason why they make them. And this climate is the perfect one for it because we're typically 100 plus inches. So we not only deal with the snow, we deal with hard pack snow, and we deal with slush. And that's where those cold weather tires really, really take part. Now, you said as far as accidents, this town or even people procrastinate. And people think the cold, well, you keep saying cold weather, because they're not snow tires. They're cold weather tires. There's people in Virginia and Pennsylvania that don't deal with a lot of snow, but they deal with a lot of cold temperatures where it's 20, 30 degrees. And they don't get the snow, but they still get those freezing temperatures, the freezing roads. And that's where those cold weather tires, where the tire can actually stay pliable and continue to grip the road when it's, when it's cold outside, when it's raining outside. So yeah, big, big difference. Yeah. Um, and then I guess last question is, uh, you know, what, what benefits over the last couple of years have you seen that the tires provide for customers and for people who actually buy them? Uh, as far as benefits, as far as safety, uh, there's a lot more siping in the tire. The siping, when you look at a tire, has these little kind of zigzag lines in them. That keeps that tire flexible, so as it's trying to grip on the road, it's going to stay a lot more pliable, as we talked about, and it's actually going to be able to take that um, the, um, the moisture and push it out of the tire. So it actually has a much higher gripping tire, but what they've also developed is a compound that lasts longer, a lot more silica, like a synthetic rubber, so it actually lasts longer. Where snow tires 10 years ago, you'd burn them off in two years. 
now you can get four or five seasons out of that tire so you're actually not only lasting longer the grip is better 